Welcome to our Chemical Science. I'm Jordan, an open source researcher who has been over the last six months covering the advent of a very new and simultaneously very old technology, Malcolm Bendel's Thunderstorm Generator. His marvelous magical machine that transmutes carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and hydrocarbons to oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements, uh, which has been continuing to cause waves of excitement and confusion in equal measure. So many of you may have been waiting for some more on-the-ground footage of the Thunderstorm Generator in action and the new stubby design units that Malcolm and his team have been working on e this year in India and the UK. I haven't been able to go and do this myself. Uh, the retrofit that I went and checked out in my native Australia got sent off to Malcolm to use for a conference last year when the prototypes were still in short supply. And I'm also not currently able to get over to the UK where this is all occurring. Uh, to really be on the ground covering what's happening myself. However, uh, our friend Johanna James of Funny Old World is over in the UK, and Malcolm invited her to come and take another sneak peek at the workshop and the first of the pre-production units that are being sent around the world this month for independent uh, analysis and review. So in the open source spirit of it all, uh, Johanna was kind enough to share some of the brand new unseen footage of the new Thunderstorm Generator stubby units and uh, some other goings on at the Thunderstorm Generator workshop from her latest trip, and she gave me permission to share it all uh, with you on Alchemical Science. So we've got some of that footage in this video today. So she'll probably be covering this also and bringing her own unique insights into the mix soon over on her own channel. So um, if you're not already subscribed to Funny Old World, then um, you know what to do after this video. So we'll get to that footage shortly, uh, but another big quick announcement first, and this is breaking news. If you want to actually come and see the Thunderstorm Generator yourself in person, uh, if you want to catch myself, Jana James, Randall Carlson, Malcolm Bendel, Bob Greenia, Praveen Mohan, uh, and a host of other revolutionary researchers and scientists live, I remember we will all be congregating for the Cosmic Summit in North Carolina this June uh, 15th to the 17th. So not only will you get to come and hear all about the fusion of the ancient and modern world over on the main conference on the weekend, uh, there's two stages packed out with amazing speakers over two days, but Malcolm is actually going to be bringing the new Thunderstorm Generator prototype to the conference for a big public unveiling. The host of the summit, Mr. George Howard, has pulled out all the stops and provided us with the facilities at the conference to be able to demonstrate the new Thunderstorm Generator run tests and host guests to chat about what's going on all weekend. So Malcolm and his invention will be available all weekend to guests out of the conference uh, and Bob Grainier, Phil Dubois and myself uh, will all be there hanging out with him as well and answering questions about our investigations into the Thunderstorm Generator uh, and chatting about our own independent work in these areas as well. So then on Monday, we'll have a classroom workshop all together again, uh, this time going deeper with Malcolm Bendel uh, and Bob Phil and myself will be here and involved again too. So if you're seriously interested in the tech and understanding how it works, uh, this Monday classroom day should definitely be on your calendar. Uh, you can purchase the extra Monday classroom pass at the checkout, along with the event ticket, or even if you haven't got a uh, ticket for the main event, for the full weekend Cosmic Summit, you can actually still purchase a ticket just for the Monday workshop separately. Um, a few people have asked. So there's also a new Plasmoid Day Pass in which you can just book a ticket to come and see the speakers on stage uh, and the Thunderstorm Generator in person just one day over the weekend. And most of us who are speaking about the tech will be on the main stage on the Saturday, um, but we'll also be hanging out in the Thunderstorm Generator room uh, for discussion on Sunday. So you can book for either one of those uh, with the Plasmoid Pass. Just uh, check out the schedule of speakers to see what day you'd like to book. Uh, and last but not least, if you can't get to North Carolina for the summit, uh, you can't afford it, don't have the time or it's too far away, uh, you can book your virtual pass and check the whole summit, including the Monday classroom workshop from the comfort of your own den. So there's a lot of ways you can be a part of this monumental occasion uh, and join us for this year's big public unveiling of the new prototype. All the links are in the description. Uh, if you book using my affiliate link, I will get a little commission from the ticket sale and I'll put it to good use. So use that link down there in the description if you'd like to help me out while you're at it. So thanks guys, um, I look forward to meeting you all who've already booked. It's going to be a wild few days. All right, so back to this new footage from Johanna. Uh, Malcolm also sent me a bunch of photos as well. 
uh, some of which I'll splice through this video where they're appropriate. And remember, if you want to feature some of these images in your own video, podcast, social media, print media, whatever, uh, talking about the tech, amplifying things so more people know about this and it stays out in the open, go right ahead with that. Uh, I'm working completely open source. There's no gatekeeping here. So go ahead and use them uh, and shout it out to the world. And please just credit the images to their original source, Strike Foundation, Malcolm Mendel's not-for-profit, uh, which he founded to educate people about plasmoid technology and the science behind it. And that's where he's open sourcing all of that through. You can find the website in the description as well. Okay, so let's take a look at some of this footage. Um, Jahan arrived just as Malcolm and Phil, uh, we'll introduce Phil in a moment, was cutting and preparing and photographing more of the two inch samples from the eight year old thunderstorm generator, uh, the 24 inch sphere, which Bob Grenier of Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project uh, previously conducted SEM, EDS and radiocarbon analysis on. So I believe over 80 samples are now out the door and on their way to be sent out to labs uh, all over the world for peer analysis and review. So for the public record, I'm just gonna play this footage of the sample prep from Johanna Uncut. And if you haven't really been following all of this already and you've just jumped in right now, this may not seem so relevant to you yet, but uh, if that's the case, my previous video, uh, the link will pop up in a moment, goes through what this is all about uh, and it'll get you right up to speed with the work of Bob Greenier and the analysis that's been done on these spheres already by the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So we'll talk about these samples again briefly, uh, again in a moment, and then move on afterwards to the footage of the thunderstorm generator running. So here we go with the footage of them taking samples. <laughs> it's good B-roll right there. The very important Royal Worcester Cup. <laughs> so are, are you just taking uh, photos just for reference, not... not um... I'm doing both. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm photographing which one it is, and then I'm documenting this side, and then I'm doing zoomed in macro oh, like shots macro, okay. of anything that looks particularly interesting. Oh, Actually, this one is great. Oh, wow, yeah, sparkle. Okay, basically done. Almost. Look who we got. Look who we got here in the house. I'm here. The one only. <laughs> Johanna James. 31 to organize this 49. Because we're missing 50. Okay. Chaos, so. okay. <clears throat> That's it. We got Bob's package together. We got the American package together. And we're going to go out and we are going to run the machines. So many little. Do we go all the way out or just uh? No, I can put it out. Okay. 
All right, so we'll keep this footage running while I talk, but there's nothing really going on here much audio-wise. Um, Phil's just marking and cutting up the next samples from the thunderstorm generator spheres. So I should quickly introduce Phil Dubois. Uh, like myself, he's an independent researcher who took an interest in this tech uh, through his work in vortex-based mathematics. He started working on Malcolm's thunderstorm generator and the molten sea arc atomic reconstruction tech last year. Uh, during the Tesla Tech Extraordinary Technology Conference in the US. And shortly after the conference, he spent three weeks in a lab exploring and documenting the performance parameters of the system. And then more recently, he spent time in India building a system to be demonstrated to the Indian Navy. And he was back in the UK assisting with taking the sphere samples uh, when the footage was taken before launching straight off again to Prague uh, to deliver the samples in person to Bob Green for his further SEM analysis and other testing. I remember Phil will be joining us for Cosmic Summit in June. Uh, he'll be there to answer questions and talk about his experiences with the thunderstorm generator, so you get your ticket. Uh, he's really been in the midst of all of this um, with his hands on the tech, so he'll be bringing a lot of valuable insight to the table there. So Phil is still in Prague uh, as of me writing this video. He stuck around for Bob's scanning electron microscope analysis of the new samples. And you can already catch a couple of new videos from Bob and Phil uh, on the Martin Fleischman Memorial Project YouTube channel. Um, and I only just saw their latest live stream before recording this video, so I'm not going to break down those new findings yet in the middle of this one. Uh, but they are major. Uh, it just completely seals the deal on how we understand what's occurring in the thunderstorm generator, supports all the Malcolm's claims once again uh, for how the device functions, and confirms Bob's original hypothesis as to what's going on uh, just beyond a doubt now. So these new findings continue to link what's going on in the thunderstorm generator to the same ball lightning events occurring in Dr. Bin Zhuang Wang's DHX2 reactor, uh, Herr Curian's Vega experiments, and uh, the phenomena observed by Dr. Matsumoto in his experiments uh, with pulse discharges in water, uh, just with even more clarity than ever before. We've already seen a lot of suggestion of this, but yeah, Bob's was really sealing the deal here. It's brilliant stuff. Uh, and Phil was there to witness it and deliver the, the samples in person. So it's a big deal uh, because these reactors are being studied under highly controlled conditions. Um, and Dr. Huang's DHX2 reactor is the subject of the recent groundbreaking peer review paper shown on the screen here and the links in the description, uh, public, published in the scientific journal Nature, which Bob was one of the co-authors of there. So we'll cover all of this next on Alchemical Science 2 uh, when I've caught up myself and had a chance to take some notes. Uh, this is absolutely groundbreaking science and every step of the way, Bob Grainier is finding exactly what he hypothesized. Uh, prolific evidence of plasmoid or ball lightning reactions and the telltale geometric story of the fractal toroidal moment. Go and check out that live stream from Bob and Phil from MFMP in the meantime. <laughs> Big time. God bless the USA, hey, baby. God bless it. Man himself. Uh, Eagle has landed. When I left him in India, he was jealous that I was getting out three days before him. <laughs> yeah. In four yeah, three months. months before him. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Good to have you home, man. Yeah. Let's. What you got in your luggage, man? <laughs> Some what? Thunderstorm generators. Some. Thunderstorm generators? Yeah. Like machines that make thunderstorms? Yeah, exactly. Holy shit. We gotta talk more about this, man. Yeah. You gotta get a little peck here. Damn, that's a Ooh. lot of traveling, brother. Got okay. No idea. Let's go get you a beer. Yeah. But now, uh, maybe what you've been waiting for, let's see the sneak peek of the new Turbo Stubby Thunderstorm generator running. Uh, they roll it outside for a test. You'll see, um, because you get a good half of exhaust fumes until the retrofit's actually turned on and the process begins. But then it obviously starts raining and you'll see they wheel it inside afterwards uh, in the second part of the video, just in case you're wondering what's going on there. And Johanna gets in close to see all the different parts of the system and you'll get a good look at what's happening. So the exhaust gas analyzer is hooked up and I'll put some subtitles to explain what's going on there when we get to it, just for anyone who doesn't know what they're looking at here. And I'll add some explanatory text for color in a few places as we go through. Just You'll probably have to go back and see some of my older videos if you don't know what the unit does at all, but this should be a little bit of a guide. Pretty 
here we start with turbo stubby and then work our way up. Yeah. Turbo stubby is the star at the moment. B roll for. And look at our freshly sealed. Oh yeah, I was gonna yeah. Joins. What's it sealed with? What is it sealed with? This is uh, epoxy, so to make sure that there's no leakage of the back lid. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Great. So, I've got to put this on before Questionable I substances. Questionable <laughs> substances. As if we're not. Hold it. I mean, it's it's gonna show good results. Yeah. Either way, probably. Let's do an Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Star pen.
400 there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is 400. Yeah. Stopping 300. Almost there, somewhere around there. We don't have to go to here. Which way does the stand go? Who's on the, who's on the left and right? It's on the right hand side, it's the second. Oh, yeah. And that's the third, yeah? <laughs> first, so, second, Big John, yeah. Turbo Stubby, and Super Stubby. And Super Stubby. I had a big world we crashed for now and all these things. All the genetics. Sure. Well, are you going to cut that up in little bits or this one? Just this uh, one. I want to just do these straps. Malcolm's really got it dialed in right now. Here we go. Look at that. That's it, man. That's that's what we're looking for. Yes, it's in the goddamn machine. Let me tell you. Oh, that feels good. All right, we are in. Here we come, world. Okay, good. Now just roll it around. Perfect. Now intend it. Yep. That looks really good, actually. Yeah, it's killer. Wow. It's really neat. Perfect. Yep. Wow. It just. All right, uh, so that's the new Turbo Stubby unit in action. Uh, this is one of the pre-production units which will be sent out to global testing teams over the next few months and which Malcolm will be bringing to Cosmic Summit for public demonstration and examination. Come see us there. So I'll flick through a few more images Malcolm sent me um, as we lead out. And if you want to know more about the stubbier designs and what's involved here, uh, you can check out one of my previous videos, Thunderstorm Generator Q&A. Uh, more proof of cavitation from MFMP, Plasmo Tech Updates, uh, where I summarized some of the updates Malcolm mentioned they'd made to the design there. Uh, the new prototype being spoken about in that video is the stubby thunderstorm generator shown here, and I talk about some of the specs um, in that video. So next we'll be going through Bob and Phil's new SEM session, uh, looking at those samples and breaking down what it all means. 
And I hope you're all starting to get your heads around that side of things a little bit after a few videos where we've been delving into the microcosmic world, but I'll attempt to simplify it as much as I can as usual. And remember, uh, if you're someone who has access to a suitable lab with an SEM and you're interested in analyzing a sample from either Malcolm's Thunderstorm Generator or Dr. Wang's DHX2 reactor uh, with the aim to help assist in the peer analysis and review, uh, you can get in touch with Bob Grainier or Malcolm Bendel. I'll display their information along with other key contacts on a slide at the end, uh, or you can follow the respective links in the description. And I'm getting a feeling it's a good time to talk a little more about alchemy too. So um, I'm writing a video that I hope will be rather special, uh, more fusing of the modern and ancient world. And hopefully I'll have that video out soon as well. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks again to Johanna James of Funny Old World for sharing the footage for our trip to check out the new prototype. Um, remember to go and check her channel out. And of course, uh, thanks to Malcolm and Phil for opening up the workshop for that day and giving us a sneak peek at everything going on. And that's all for now. Uh, stay tuned for more soon. In the meantime, keep sharing this information however you can. Uh, thank you. It's much appreciated. If you can afford to donate to either help me keep researching, writing and producing these videos or to the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project or Bob Grainier, who we cover a lot over here, uh, to assist with their incredibly valuable open source work, donation links are in the descriptions of the videos on our respective channels. And you can also hit the YouTube thanks button as well. So thanks guys, uh, we're really over the hump now. It's just a matter of getting the word out now and getting more people from all fields of experience with their eyes, ears, and their hands on this. Let's begin the new industrial revolution and save the freaking world. Plasmoid power, transmutation of the elements, it's done.